Hey guys, Rob here with another video in our eGrow product research series. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a bit more of an advanced product research method uh, where we're actually going to be looking to find a product niche uh, that we could eventually, you know, build a brand around or maybe even start bundling products together. Uh, so stick around because you're not going to want to miss the insights in this video. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you will be notified when future videos are released. And with that, let's get into it. So as you can see here, we are looking at the keyword and niche tool uh, within the eGrow members area. And this tool is going to allow me to find uh, a list of keywords uh, that might you know, potentially present themselves as profitable niches. Uh, so to start out with using this tool, I need to determine uh, a category that I would like to look more into. And uh, recently I've had some good luck in the home and kitchen category. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select that box. Uh, keep in mind, uh, if you don't have a category in mind yet, you can check multiple boxes or you can simply just select all departments. Now taking a look at the center column, we can actually define some of the niche metrics uh, that we want to see. Uh, so I would like uh, the average price of the products within my niche to be, oh, you know, between about $20 and let's say $60. This ensures that the product is expensive enough uh, so that there will actually be enough profit uh, available for me uh, for each item sold. Uh, but on the other hand, it's not going to be so expensive that it's going to be very costly for me to source these products. Um, another factor that I'd like to take a look at uh, are the average estimated sales per month. I'd like to see products in the niche to be, oh, uh, uh, at least 300 sales per month because that tells me that, you know, there's about 10 products being sold uh, every day and that seems to be sufficient sales volume. Also, I'd like to see the opportunity score of the niche to be six or greater. Uh, this is going to tell me that you know, based on a variety of factors, including uh, price, reviews, number of competitors, uh, things like that, that there is a, a good amount of opportunity uh, within the prospective niche. Uh, moving to the right, let's see, I don't particularly care too much about the number of words in the keyword that we're looking up at this point. Um, an instance where you might use this filter is if you're looking for more long tail keywords. Uh, then you could increase this, but uh, for now, let's just leave it as is. And I don't have any keywords that uh, I'd like to include or exclude. Uh, so let's go ahead and click search and see what we get. So here we can see a bunch of keywords uh, that fit our criteria that we set above. And uh, right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and sort these keywords by search volume because I'm looking for a niche that does have a significant amount of search volume and traffic. Now, taking a look, I can see the opportunity score here. We see mostly sixes, uh, as well as obviously some good search volume, uh, the number of competing products, and then some average metrics for these niches, such as the BSR, uh, prices, reviews, uh, etc. And just taking a look at this list, um, I like this furniture covers keyword. Um, you know, a decent opportunity score of six. Um, the search volume is, is, is good as well. You know, we see it that it's over 30,000. And there's not too many competing products compared to some of these other niches. Uh, the average BSR looks good. Um, I like this price. It is at kind of at the lower end of our range, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, overall, this looks like a pretty good niche so far. So I'm going to go ahead and simply copy this keyword. And then we're going to go up to the live Amazon scanner and simply paste it and then conduct a search for this keyword. Here we can see the product results uh, for this keyword search, just as we would see them uh, when conducting a keyword search on Amazon. Uh, the benefit of doing this within eGrow is that we also get these average value squares. And this just gives me kind of a snapshot of the 10 products that we see displayed here on this page. 
Um, you see the average BSR is a little bit under 5,000. Average price for these products is $32. Uh, and so on and so forth. So just kind of a good overall view of what we're looking at. And now we can actually take a look at the individual products here. Uh, so we see that uh, the products have quite a low BSR, which is, is good, um, you know, kind of right within our price range as well. And the products aren't too heavy, which is very important because we want to be able to save some money uh, when sourcing and shipping uh, these products. Um, you know, I like uh, this cover here, you know, the, the again, the weight isn't too heavy. Uh, and we see that the listing quality score is six, which means that, you know, there is probably some improvement that we can make uh, to this listing, whether or not it's images, uh, better text, product description, uh, etc. Uh, and I also like to see that the number of sales is well over uh, 6,000. So, so that you know, kind of determines that there's a good amount of volume as well. So let's go ahead and copy this ASIN. And we're going to go over to the product tracker and start tracking this product. We could have actually added that product to the product tracker directly from the live Amazon scanner. And you guys can go watch some of my other eGrow video tutorials uh, to learn how to do that. But today I'm just going to quickly walk you guys through uh, how to add a product uh, directly in the product tracker. Uh, so we're just going to click that plus icon and paste the ASIN that we copied from the live Amazon scanner. And then here is where we can actually add tags to sort uh, our various products. And, um, you know, this isn't a big deal right now, but if I was starting to look at several products uh, across many different categories, uh, this would be quite helpful. So I'm just going to go ahead and include a tag uh, called home and this is what I would tag all of my uh, home and kitchen products with. So now let's go ahead and click add products and go back to the product tracker. As you can see this product is now included in the product tracker with the tag home. If we open up the chart we can actually see that there's already a good amount of data available for this product, which is excellent. And we can see that a lot of the information here, the BSR, estimated sales, price, were all fairly stable uh, for a couple months. And then we see this huge jump in the BSR, uh, kind of right in the middle of October, uh, which did, it looks like, lead to a little bit of a decline in estimated sales. Uh, however, the BSR seems to kind of be kind of returning to its previous level and estimated sales do appear to be on the climb a, a little bit. I might actually keep an eye on this product for a little bit longer uh, before I'd make a sourcing decision to determine if uh, the estimated sales can get back uh, to their original level. Uh, but with that in mind, let's actually just go ahead and uh, start the keyword research process because it's super easy uh, to conduct keyword research with an eGrow. And you can do it at the same time uh, that you are tracking a product's performance. So that way, when you do decide whether or not a product is a, a good option to start selling, uh, you can then simply have your keyword research already done. Um, so let's go over to the reverse ASIN search. As you can see, I've pasted this ASIN here into our reverse ASIN research tool and click go. And here we can see all of the keywords that are currently associated with this particular product. And uh, generally when I'm conducting product research, I want to track all of these keywords. So I would actually just go ahead and export uh, this list of keywords uh, as a CSV file. Um, but for today's purposes, I'm going to show you guys how to enter just a few of these keywords into uh, the eGrow rank tracker. Uh, so you can start to see how this product is performing uh, for some of these keywords. Uh, so with that, let's go over to the rank tracker. So here we are in the rank tracker. You can see I already have some projects here in my rank tracker. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and click the plus icon, just as we did in the product tracker, and add a new project. Uh, so to do this, I will simply paste the ASIN, 
And this checkbox that says track parent product and variations, it's not super important for this type of product because uh, there aren't any variations. But if we were looking at a product with multiple sizes or colors, uh, we would want to go ahead and select this checkbox. Uh, but regardless, let's go ahead and click next. And here is where we could actually enter uh, that long list of keywords that we saw uh, from the reverse ASIN research tool. Um, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to copy all of them in. I'm just going to go ahead and type a few of them. Uh, so from that list, it looks like we had a uh, couch blanket dog hair. And then I can actually separate these uh, by a comma or a new line. So let's just click enter. Um, we have uh, as seen on TV products couch cover. And a third one could be um, furniture protectors from pets. Here were a few of the keywords associated with this product, and we're simply going to go ahead and click Add Project. And now let's go back to the Rank Tracker. So as you can see, this product is now being tracked in our Rank Tracker. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of information available yet, uh, but within 24 hours, you will start to see all of this information populate, including uh, the trend information, uh, average search volume, average position for all of the keywords, uh, and so on. Uh, and if you click on this particular project, you can actually see the list of keywords that we added, as well as any potential search volume, number of competing products, trending information, positioning, etc. And again, this will all update within 24 hours of adding the product to the rank tracker. Uh, so you can start to get an idea of how this product is performing for various keywords. And if you'd like to get a better idea of uh, all of the metrics that we see here in the Rank Tracker, uh, go ahead and take a look at the Rank Tracker tutorial uh, that we have posted here on the YouTube channel. In a future video, I will be going more in depth on how to conduct keyword research with eGrow. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what I personally do when I'm looking for a new category or niche uh, to start sourcing products in. Uh, not only do I conduct uh, the search within the Keyword and Niche tool and the live Amazon scanner, uh, but I also actually just start the process of keyword research. So that way I'm not you know, waiting two weeks after the product has been in the product tracker to determine if I wanna source it and then start the keyword research. Uh, but I can actually kind of do them simultaneously. So this is just kind of a great uh, tip uh, for you guys to kind of start speeding up this process. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you now have a better understanding of how you can conduct uh, product research uh, by starting with the keyword and niche tool within the eGrow members area. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you will be notified when future videos are released. If you have any questions about the content in this video, please drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. See you next time.